from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big morning. As more more corporate dreams came in the minutes ago, and they're missing. Why is it? While the latest details across the board in a big week is actually getting bigger tomorrow. You know what tomorrow is. It's the massive CPI for the month of July being released in this broadcast tomorrow morning. And it'll give you guidance on what happened with inflation for the month of July. It could potentially determine more benefits for an entire generation. We'll go over what we should expect for that CPI print for the month of July being released tomorrow. Yes, your benefits could be going up $5,000 or more. Why the number that came in the last Friday changed everything? It was a non-farm payroll number that followed the unemployment number the day before. That unemployment number was not good, 260000 The non-farm payroll jump number on Friday was hideously great. So why is this? I'll explain in detail across the board. Has inflation peaked or not peaked? This is the big question mark going into tomorrow's morning. And this is why you have to become a member. Go to this video and become a member. You get these incredible checks across the board. Those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. About one hundred thousand dollars done by executive action from Joseph Biden. They're paying out today. You qualify by direct deposit. Go get them. We'll go over the incredible checks in today's reporting live on air. Approximately one hundred thousand dollars done by executive action, and you're getting them. We'll go over what you do to get them. Step one: subscribe. Step two: go under the video. I'm a member. They say the big second half is we'll go over these big questions, these big chats at issue. But the big question mark tomorrow is whether inflation peaks or not peaks. We'll go over everything you need to know across the land. The last the big second half, we'll go over every single chat one at a time to show you how to get the six on the it, It's great money. The more success stories came in on I, the more late details you need to say as well. But then we'll go over to the big question mark recession or no recession? Camp 1 versus Camp 2, how to please with today's afternoons and evening show. Like show. Very important to understand where the economy is and where it's going. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, the copper is brewing, the inflation here, and supply chain disruption has prevented my delivery of my business. So it's sort of a serious work. A big bacon is missing. I don't really blame that on, but you know, it's not there. It should be there. And ultimately, inflation won't solve that either. But the latest details on everything you need to know, it's morning daylight and it starts right now. Having a oh, and there goes the, the audio. Uh, we're having a big day, and and the audio cleared itself. It deserves itself. <laughs> it's a big week with a long incredible amount of news, and we're, we're going to go over everything you need to know, especially that CPI print coming out tomorrow. It's a big data. It's a big date, and that could potentially determine your benefits for a generation. Everything you need to know across the board. We'll be going over that in today's recording. We'll go over the earnings recession that kicked up its feet again today, as more corporations missed on that earnings front release today. A series of major misses, and what's at issue across the board with that major number coming in tomorrow? That major number tomorrow got a teaser last week for the non-farm payroll and the inflationary number is a shocker what will it be tomorrow i'll have a preview plus what about your benefits your benefits are going up a lot the largest of a generation what do you need to know i'll explain everything at issue and whether that inflation has peaked in the big second half we're going to go over all these incredible checks those four small checks in every u.s state we're going to go over anything you need to know to get those incredible checks go on to this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Those incredible checks are the only four simple checks. We're going to go over each of them one at a time. In the second half, about $100,000 of checks done by the President of the United States by executive action. Viewers are getting them. They're getting them for a long time. And we're going to go over everything you need to know to get these incredible checks. Stay with me over the big second half. We're going to go over all those details starting right now. Good morning. We start, of course, with the earnings recession. A major series of companies reported corporate earnings today. And they missed again. And they're not just social media companies or technology companies. More industries, more genres are missing on those corporate earnings front today. And that's signaling the recession is getting broader. The companies reporting corporate earnings for second quarter minutes ago for this report today of July 8th, 2022. 
missing our Novavax, missing Allbirds, missing Micron, missing Take Two. This is all in the last few minutes, folks. Missing Upstart, missing Cargroups, missing SoFi, missing Vroom. Wow. So SoFi, as you know, is the online financial company. You know the uh, used car vending uh, applications or websites of car gurus, very popular, Vroom, missing dramatically. We have a, a video platform for gamers, Take Two, missing, Upstart, missing. It's a cloud platform, Micron Technologies. Of course, you know that's a chip manufacturer, missing. And Allbirds Missing, which is a sneaker ma maker, and then Novavax, which, of course, you know what they do. Uh, that is a Vax COVID-19 vaccine company, Missing, dramatically. The only company reporting good numbers this morning is GoodRx, which is up 40% of the pre-market trading. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Tomorrow's the number you want to watch. Tomorrow's the very critical number, the most important number of the month, potentially the most important number of the summer after that May print, that CPI. What is this number? It is the massive July print of the CPI number we're being released on August 10th. I'll have it live on air during this broadcast. Let me go over everything you need to know with that CPI print, why it's important for you, because it will determine how much your benefits are going up. Your benefits could potentially go up the highest lift of a generation if that print comes in where you and I think it's going to come in. I'll analyze the situation for you in just a second, but let me get to a preview of the data, and then I'll give you the preview of the analysis. In this case, I actually like this guy's analysis a lot. He says a lot in just a few words. He First, let's go over the data. The data minutes ago is what Wall Street is projecting for tomorrow. So the CPI is inflation. The CPI is your benefits. And that's why it's so important for us to watch it. Inflation is not peaked. Inflation is not peaked, and inflation is not peaked. Your benefits are going up a lot. How much will we need to see three months of data? We need to see July, August, and September. I'll go over that in a second with you. And we see July tomorrow on August 10th on this broadcast live on air. What is Wall Street saying for the CPI print coming in tomorrow? Let me show you what the prior print showed us for the CPI. The prior print for that CPI for the month of May was... An 8.6% number. That was the May CPI, released, of course, a month later in June. Then the June print, that last number we had for the June CPI, showed a massive surge from 8.6 in the month of May to 9.1 in the month of June. So what is tomorrow's number going to be? Is it going to be 9.1? Is it going to be higher? Is it going to be lower? Jump in the live chat right now. Tell me what you think. Do you believe the CPI print for tomorrow, for the month of July, will be higher than the 9.1 of June, the same, or lower? Wall Street analysts believe it's going to be lower at 8.7%. But in the second half of this recording, I'm going to explain to you why an 8.7 is nothing to celebrate or write home about. I'll explain that in the second half of this recording. But let me go over the analysis from one quote that is, I think, really good. It's really good analysis. He says, I don't see anything that will reduce inflation rate at the moment. There are some things that may reduce prescription drug prices and a couple of other things, as Bianca Research President, uh, this morning. But will it down the, bring, bring down the CPI tomorrow? No. Um, and then he said here, that inflation is persistent. Is it going to stay at 9.1% tomorrow? Maybe not. But will it settle down to a 4 or 5 or 6% range tomorrow? No. We need to get down to a 5 or 6% range, and that's not happening anytime soon. Then he tomorrow to a, really dis, a very distinct argument. I think it's really important. Wage inflation. Wage inflation is how much salaries have gone up. If salaries are staying up and inflation is still higher, then you can't pay for the salaries. It's a great point. Let me let me read the quote. If we still have a 5% wage inflation, the wages are up 5% year to date, you can pay for 5% inflation in this economy. But it's not going to be much below wages. So you need to get wages down to 2% in order to pay for inflation down 2%. Basically, you can't have wage inflation and let, as a higher number than general inflation. If wages are up 5% year to date and the U.S. inflation is at 4%, you can't pay for the wages. Very, very big point. It's a very, it's not, it's really data. You can't pay for wages that are higher than the inflation rate. So if you're not getting, infl if you're not getting wages down, we are not going to have inflation down. Now here's a hysterical quote. He's right again. This is why this is a great quote. 
if you're not going to pay for an extra money to buy a used car, then you have to walk to work. <laughs> what is he saying? Year to date, the average price of a used car has gone up 11%. A used car is now up 11% year to date. These are, this is runaway inflation. Runaway inflation. And if you don't want to pay 11% more for a used car than you did the year before, you're going to have to walk to work. <laughs> He's absolutely correct. Here's another quote. If you're going to pay extra for a car, if you're not going to pay extra for a car, you're going to have to get a ride right now. And used car prices the last 18 months have actually outperformed crypto. <laughs> so don't buy Decentraland. Buy that used Datsun. Wow. You learn something every day. I mean, it's a fascinating perspective across the board. Now, here's what you need to know about what caused this major fissure and what's going on tomorrow. Tomorrow, of course, is that CPI print for the month of July. It gives you an indication of the most critical element of your money, and it's your lifetime benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Railroad Benefits. Why? Because your benefits could see the biggest lift of a generation because inflation will never be this high again. Let's go over a preview of what's happening with those benefits. I'll go over the details of it in just a second. Your benefits are going up a lot. How much? About $5,000 more per year. But we need to see three months of data. And the first month of data is tomorrow. It's the CPI. We're going to go over what we're going to see tomorrow in that number in just a second. Then we have to see August that's released in September. And then we have to see September that's released in October. I'll explain the details for you in a second. Let me explain to you why this became so critical. And let me go over some of the questions I got about this overnight, the great questions. You and I know that the number of jobless claims are released every Thursday by the U.S. Department of Labor. I've been featured on this channel for 22, for, since this channel launched in 2020. The jobless claims number have surged out of control. Now 260,000 260, new jobless claims. Last Thursday, the highest level since 2021. Worst number um, of the year. Worst number since middle of last year. So that was Thursday. We had this hideously high number of unemployment claims. Exactly actually what I projected. Then Friday, another number was released. And what was that number? The non-farm payroll number. It's a monthly number released last Friday. And what did it do? Let me show you what happened. The non-farm payroll, which is how many jobs are created in the private sector, like travel and hospitality, was expected to drop compared to the month before. <laughs> Did it drop? No. It didn't drop like it was hot. It dropped. It surged like it was on fire. It was supposed to drop to 258. It surged out of control to 528. What? What's going on here? Yes, enormous number of jobs were created in the month of July. And one of the great questions came in from Lynn Glenn, and I think it was Diane, another viewer which sectors had the jobs? You know the answer. Because we run the corporate earnings always on this channel. You know the companies are doing really well. Travel and leisure, hospitality, the Carnival Cruises, the Hilton Hotels. A Hyatt report this morning, they actually missed, so that was a surprise. Um, travel and leisure, hospitality, uh, food and dining. They can't hire enough employees. They, they're, running, they're, they're running left and right to hire people left and right. They're not technology. We have layoffs of technology and hiring freezes left and right. So that is where all the major jobs came in. Now, another great question. I love what you're doing. I love what you're doing. You're going into the big, deep questions because that's what you got to do. How can the jobless claims surge out of control through the roof, getting much worse? And then the next number you're about to give me be so good. And what is that number? Buried in the, far, in the Friday number from last uh, week was this, the percentage of unemployment, the unemployment rate. It fell. It fell a lot. How much did it fall? The lowest of a generation. 1969 was the last time we saw this unemployment rate this low. What? Yeah, this is strange. You have out of control unemployment claims going straight up that are not good. And then you have the labor unemployment rate dropping to the lowest level since 1969. Viewers are saying, explain that, Ally, because that looks contradictory. It does look contradictory. The best way I can describe it is the following. If you work in tech, you're laid off. What are you doing? You're going to apply for unemployment assistance. And so you're applying for unemployment assistance, the number's going straight up. Tech is not creating more jobs. Travel and leisure is creating more jobs. And when they create a job, let's say at Hilton, 
and it's 10 jobs they fill they fill them in 10 seconds because they need a lot of employees and they fill them in one seconds travel and leisure and hospitality generate 96,000 jobs and they're probably getting filled in 10 seconds so when you look at the unemployment rate it's probably deriving from the jobs being created or so many jobs being created they're filling a second and that the jobs that were around people lost they're not going and pivoting to another industry they're claiming unemployment assistance. That's the best way to explain the situation across the board. And this, my friends, is why this is so critical for your forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. You got to say the second half as we go over these incredible checks one at a time. You deserve these big checks. We're going to go over all these incredible checks in the big second half. But first, let's turn to your benefits rise. Your benefits rise that will have the details of that starting right now. But of course, at issue will be that print coming in tomorrow. Let me go over what's happening. In the month of July, we had the June number come in. And the CPI beat, the PPI beat, the retail sales beat. Let me go over what that meant for your benefits and what happened with that rise across the board. Let's look at it right now. It's not the LA newsletter. <laughs> it's the CPI beat. Let's look at it right now. Inflation surged dramatically in the month of June. What happened? It was 5.9% in, excuse me, it was 8.6% uh, in the month of May. And what did it do in the month of June? It surged to 9.1%. And that is out of control. Out of control. Raises your benefits up dramatically. Now, what's at issue? They're expecting it to drop tomorrow. But even if it drops to 8.8 .8 or 8.7, that's only May levels. That's nothing to think that your benefits are in jeopardy. I'll explain that more in a second because I want to get you prepared for tomorrow. If you do see an 8.7 number tomorrow or an 8.6 or even an 8.4, I'll explain the significance of why your benefits are still going up. Your benefits are going up a lot, approximately $5,000. Who? You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. Who? You. Automac, yes. By direct deposit, yes. Otherwise, you get in the mail or by direct deposit. It is for you, and it is absolutely incredible. The question mark at issue is the following, is how the money is delivered and how it comes to you across the board. The question at issue is... The rise is about $5,000. Some of you will have more. Some of you will have less. Is it automatic? Yes. Is it an incredible lift? It is. Is the same percentage lift across the board? It is. It is absolutely that great. And that is why you want to watch that CPI print coming in for tomorrow. All right, now let me tell you what to expect with that CPI print starting right now. Here's a preview of the big second half. I may have lost connectivity with some of you during uh, during the, the original live broadcast of this. It will replay at a later date if I lost connectivity for you. Here's what to expect with that number tomorrow. What's important to understand is that inflation needs to come down and come down a lot and stay down for a long time. And we have a comment from Governor Bowman about that Saturday. So even if inflation comes down tomorrow at 8.6% or 8.4%, do not think you're going to not get the lifts or your benefits. Do not think your benefit lift is not happening. Because unless the number tomorrow is 3 or 4%, you're going to get six of cents. We need to see tomorrow's number, the August number, and the September number, and then we'll have the real clarity across the board. And this, my friends, is why you want to get a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. That force stimulus check in every U.S. state was done by executive action of Joseph Biden back in the month of March. Our viewers have been getting these incredible checks ever since. Let's go over those checks in detail, starting right uh, in, in overview right now, and then we'll go over in detail in the big second half. These four stimulus checks in every U.S. state are incredible. I had a dual mandate for myself at the time that I get you big monstrous checks and that I get broad eligibility. You qualify. Single individual, 75000 or less, go get it. Married couple, 150000 or less, go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it. How do you get it? Become a member. Go right on this video and join the channel. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Let's go over what's going on with these checks starting right now. It's approximately $100,000. It's a lot of different checks with a lot of money, and they've been lost since the month of March. Viewers have been getting them. I'll go over their success stories in just a second. It's a four stimulus check done by executive action by the President of the United States, hence it's federal law, hence it's in every U.S. state, about $100,000. And you qualify. 
Benefits, not on benefits. Children, not on children. Not with children. Behind on bills, not behind on bills. Rent, own, young, old, SSI, SSDI, you qualify. I'm going to go over all these incredible checks in the big second half. What do you do? Step one, you become a member. Step two, you go into this video and join the channel. Step three, you subscribe. And step three, you stay the big second half as we go over these incredible checks in every U.S. state. The benefit of becoming a member is the incredible newsletter delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via this channel. It has in there the talk of the town, the worksheets in the newsletter. Down around the third or fourth line of the newsletter is the worksheets. What is a worksheet? Just like it sounds. It's a sheet for you to work on to prepare for getting money. And let's go over what we know about those worksheets starting right now. This is the worksheets. It's a PDF. You can print from your phone uh, or print from your computer or download if you don't have a printer. Let's go over the first page. Inflation. Tomorrow, the CPI print for the month of July is released. While she's expecting it to drop from 9.1% to 8.7%, which will be higher, uh, actually 8.8%, which is higher than the month of May. So no real big drop across the board. And if this benefit lift happens, then this clarity tomorrow will manifest itself quickly. Basically, we want to see if whether this number on the month of July released tomorrow is about where June was, you know, a half a percentage point down, uh, a quarter of a percentage point down. That's basically the same number. You're in a really good circumstance. This is SS300. This is SS400. This is everything you wanted for, and it's a lifetime lift of your benefits, but we have two more months to watch for these details. Second half of this video, we're going to go over the next item, recession. Two camps we met yesterday, Camp 1 and Camp 2. We'll have more about this tonight on Evening's L8 in prime time at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Labor, two different numbers. We just went over them. The unemployment rate, which is the lead number for labor that the White House, the Federal Reserve, and myself use, and then the non the jobless claims number released once a week, released every, on, every Thursday, surging out of control. Conflicting numbers, Yes. The Federal Reserve does not mean in the month of August, and you can see tonight, I'm going to give you a preview right now, that the Federal Reserve is going to do 75 basis points in the month of September as their interest rate spike. And you can see that big quote from Bowman all throughout today where she says, we need to continue the same spikes until inflation stays down a lot and remains down for a long period of time. We're nowhere near that. And the second page of the worksheets, you have the huge table that is the big winning game for viewers. It's the game changer. It's a table. All this is unique to LA. This is why you want to become a member. Nowhere else in financial news you see this. You keep track of the incredible checks you apply for. Check A, check B, check C. And it shows you the date you applied, you fill out, the date you paid, the periods of payment, the amount, and the, and the, and the contact information. Contact information is very important because later this year it's going to get cold. And you can go back to that same person that paid you for the heating oil in the July. It was $50 in July, and in the winter, it's not going to be $50. It's going to be $5,000 or $500. You're going to establish that contact with that person now. You're going to put it on the worksheets. Success stories. Early this week, one viewer got 12 months of utilities. Wow, great news. Post your success story in the live chat right now. Inspires other people. If you're applying for checks, just post that as well. I'm applying for a check. Post in the live chat because you inspire other people. Number two. Another viewer got 14 months of rent the day after. Wow, that's incredible. That's not $1,000. That's a lot of money. Number three, Spelly got approved last week for check A, the weather rising grant, and lots of check C's. Congratulations to him. He had a great motivation statement, which is stay with it. The applications are applications. Sometimes they'll say fill out a different way. You got to do that. We did that with EIDL and PPP. That's why this channel existed. People say, I filled it out. I didn't get approved. Or I filled it out. It's still, it's still stuck in the vortex. Remember that? Stuck in the vortex. You need to stay with it. If your question's about something stuck, then send it to me or the, or the volunteers and we will answer for you on the community page. And then the big success story. Oh, Spelly also got check C's. The big success story. Not unusual success story, just another one of the big E's. A viewer in the state of Florida applied for check B. She just forgot that she applied. She put on the worksheets. She forgot she had put on the worksheets and guess what happened? She got a message two weeks ago, said, ma'am, you've been approved for check B. Wow. What'd she get approved for? Mortgage. Oh, congratulations. Great news. It gets better. She applied for her utilities as well. Wow, that's great news. So she has four utilities and the mortgage, that's five checks per month. Oh my God. Five checks per month for 18 months, five times 18. That is 80 to 100 checks. 
80 to 100 forced stimulus checks because she became a member of LA, because she went through that membership newsletter, because she used the LA worksheets. This is not an unusual story. It's happening all the time. And that's why you want to become a member. You want to get that financial independence. Go out of this video, become a member. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks once at a time. You're going to see the big success stories that our viewers are getting left and right. And those success stories should be you as well. Jump in the live chat and post your success stories. Send it to me on private message on Facebook, and I will feature it on air. And the big second half, we're going to go over more about what's at issue. But first, here's the community page. Be back in 60 seconds as we go over all these incredible checks. Become a member during the commercial break. And I'll see you back after the commercial break. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now in a big second half of Morning to LA live on air. If you miss this live broadcast due to connectivity, it will air later in the day. And a source, of course, jump into the live feed as well. Tomorrow's the major news is the major news that CPI print for the month of July released on August 10th. It'll determine how much your benefits are going up across the board. We'll have more about that in just a second. And it gauged based upon that surge of unemployment. Uh, that surge of employment news on Friday, it was a shocker, following the downward spiraling numbers on Thursday. Has inflation peaked or has it not peaked? We'll have the latest details on that in the big second half and what that means for recession. There's a big recording and we're just getting started, but now let's turn to those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Did you become a member during the commercial break? I hope you did. Go right on this video and become a member right now. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. To get those incredible checks, in every U.S. state. These four stimulus checks are the only four stimulus checks there are. There will not be any other four stimulus checks this month, and this month, and these are the incredible checks you deserve. Let's go over all those incredible checks starting right now. Back in the month of March, for you of this channel who have learned and earned so well with me, said, find me some checks. And I did. This is what I've been doing for a long time. I found people EI deal grant checks in 2020. There was no broadcast story that said there's an EI deal grant. I recorded it, and you had to do something to get it, and I explained to viewers how you get it. EI deal loans, $150,000. EI deal grants, $10,000. PUA, lots of money, $20,000, $30,000 that people got for PUA, UI, and FUC. Then PPP, lots of money, $200,000. It continued over and over, and that's what we've been doing. In late 2020, Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin were negotiating the second stimulus package. It never happened. And I turned around and got you money, about $250,000, and you needed it even when there wasn't a lot of it. When third stimulus became law, most Americans got $800. Viewers of this channel know, got $45,000, because there was a lot of checks in there. I found them for you. And a lot of those checks still remain, like check C. And with that, we have these incredible checks, two mandates for myself. One, in March, I said I want to have big checks so that you survive this recession, which will be two years. Two, broad eligibility, so you qualify. And also, I want to deliver in a simple way, a newsletter. For you to go down, click, and apply. Go down, click, and apply. And you have done so well. We'll go over your success story starting right now, but more importantly, we'll also go over 
how for you to get those checks starting today. If you're a new member, welcome. If you're a returning member, go get some more checks. Let's go over all those incredible checks starting right now. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for someone's check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. How do you get it? You know the routine. Step one, go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Join the channel. Then go down to your receipt, check A. Click the link, it sends you right into the nationwide website. Then the weatherizing grant, you go get it. This is the check that Speller got. Go get that incredible check A. You're not going to done there yet. You're going to go get check B. This is the incredible check that the viewer out of Florida got 80 to 100 checks for. Yes, it's averaging about 8,000, but a lot of viewers are getting a lot more than that. Single individual, 75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, 150,000 less, go get it. If you don't have it, go get it as well. How do you get it? Go under this video, become a member. Get that newsletter, click the link, and go right in and get that incredible check. Welcome to the hundreds of new members joining daily. Welcome to the returning members. Stay a member because you always have more checks to get. There is no shortage of checks to get on this channel. And then welcome to all the members who have upgraded from Purple Hawk to Purple Power and Purple Power to Calcino VIP. Look how well you've done so far. Check B. 80,000. Check A, 12,000. That's $100,000 right there. We're not done there yet. You're going to go to check C. Check C is a 24,000 to 45,000, but folks, a lot of viewers have got over 150,000. A lot of viewers are getting monstrous MSC checks, monthly stimulus checks. Some viewers are getting 18 months of these checks. It's for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And you can continually get these checks. For anyone who says they became a member and they got one utility check and they called it a day, that's not how it's covered in the newsletter. Because in the newsletter I have for you, for example, for check C, 12 places to reach out to. Let's say, for example, you have four utility bills. Well, they're 12 months in a year. 12 months in a year times four checks per month. Then in the newsletter you have 12 places to reach out to get those checks. And don't think you only have 12 months of checks you can get. A lot of viewers are getting these checks for a year and a half or two years. Let's look at some of the success stories. These success stories are just some of them for check sees. Wow. From twenty dollars to $30,000, go get them for your rent. And for the utilities, Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000. Go get it for SNAP. Mark's brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years. Get a combination of checks. Get the rent and the water or the mortgage and the uh, and the heating oil. Go get, get combination checks. Keep on getting checks. If you got checks through the month of June with this channel, go get some more checks. For July, August, and September, go into next year with the checks. I talked a lot about that a few months ago. Keep on getting checks with Big Horizons far out. That's what Lorraine did. She was at 105, now she's at 150. That is what Mark did. He was at uh, 32,000. What did he do after that? Mark went to 166,000. He went to this graphic, 50, then he got 100, and then he went to 166 with check B. What's the common occurrence between all these viewers? One, they're in all the live chats. You can't miss a video. I mean, you really can't miss a video. And there's so much going on with this economy. It is a very confusing economy. And we're analyzing it, we're giving the data, and we're separating facts from fiction. There's a lot to go over in a day, given day. Number two, they keep on getting checks. I've said that a lot in this video, especially today. You got to keep on getting checks. If you got the water bill from this channel in February, what are you doing? This is August. <laughs> you got all those other months in between. You got to establish that relationship with that guy that paid or woman that paid you the water bill. Because guess what? You need that relationship in the fall when the water bill may be higher. Maybe the summer when the water bill is higher because of the heat in the summer. You got to keep on getting checks. What do you do? Three things. One, go on this video, subscribe. You're watching LA, the number three most watched financial news channel. You want to be part of this family, the Purple Power family. Go out in this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Coming to this channel in just a few days is the launch of two new channels, LA Light 2, LA 3, with live streaming videos about your money, stimulus, the economy, recession, inflation, jobs, making money, everything you need to know. Plus, lots of of your favorite comedy shows are back with Savita V. Lake, Blade 66, Sirloin. New shows and new series and new seasons of your favorite series. And lots of food programming. Everything you wanted in one incredible family. Plus, LA Light Live is now a 24 7 show with now two tickers and expanding even more. Livestock quotes, live Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrency quotes. 
and the feed updated throughout the day. LLA.com, the website that started all nearly 20 years ago, the new site that captured a nation has been rebranded for your money as well. You want to be part of this family. Go into this video and join the channel. Become a member and then go to this front of the channel. There's a little subscribe button, a bell button. Hit that bell button. Talk about, yeah, same thing. <laughs> hit the bell button to make sure you hit the alerts so that you have all notifications set to all on. Let me jump into those camps because these camps are fascinating. Camp one versus camp two. Recession versus no recession. What's at issue? Let's go over broadly what to expect. And we'll have more about this on afternoons and evenings at light later today. The situation at, his, at issue stemmed from what happened last week. And what happened last week? It was when that number came in with the non-farm payroll and had in there the low unemployment numbers. Let's first go over data and then we'll go over the analysis. The data is the following. The data shows that the unemployment rate is the lowest since 1969. The data shows that the Federal Reserve can continue to raise interest rates and not hurt inflation and not uh, and not hurt unemployment because it's worked for them. The data shows that the Fed governors have had a series of comments, whether it's Bowman, Daly, or uh, Boulard, all saying they're going to have a lot of interest rate spikes to go over in the next few meetings. Daly, San Francisco governor. Uh, 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 Bollard out of St. Louis, and of course Bowman on Saturday all said this following. Who told you the inflation peak, peaked? We have no indication that inflation has peaked. Number two, who told you that we're stopping our interest rate spikes? We never said that. And here comes the fascinating, most in-depth quote that comes from Bowman. That's why you got to watch this channel. Her quote was on a weekend. You can't miss these recordings. She said that Unless inflation comes down dramatically, stays down for a very long time, period of time, don't expect any different policy from the Federal Reserve. My view is that similar size increases from the Federal Reserve, 75 basis points, should be on the table until we see inflation declining in a consistent, meaningful, and lasting way. That's what she's saying, and that's what's going to happen. Why would you bet against it? Then she also says, the threat to a strong labor market is excessive inflation with allowed to continue would further cause economic instability or softening a prolonged period of economic weakness with higher inflation that's stagflation like we saw in the 1970s she says we're going to get inflation down we need to see it down for a long period of time until we stop with our interest rate spikes otherwise you're going to see a very bad situation for this economy so with that that's all data now let's go into the the analysis Camp one. Camp one is generally equity traders like um, like Saunders, who I feature tonight on Emmys LA. Their comments are that because the labor number was so great last Friday, the economy can't be in a recession because it's only a pure academic recession. That's only by definition. The recession debate at this point is merely academic, if anything else. Basically said there never was a recession, and there never will be a recession, pointing to the labor number. Do I agree? Absolutely not. Why? Again, it's ignoring data. The historic data of recessions in the U.S. economy have always been the same. When you have a recession, employment does not fall apart until later in the session. To say that employment falls apart at the start of the recession is not remembering historically what recessions have done in this economy. So equity traders are basically saying, hey, no, we're not a recession because the labor market's strong. That's not how recessions work. All right, let's go to the bond traders. The bond traders believe that a recession absolutely is upon us, and now it's going to be longer and more hard felt than before. What's their indication? The inversion curve. You don't even need to know what the inversion curve is, but let me tell you what's happened to it. Since the Friday number that came out, for the lower unemployment number, they now have made the inversion curve worse, meaning that they are now more confident that recession is upon us and it's going to be longer and more defined. What is their analysis? Their analysis is because the Federal Reserve has a dual mandate, keeping labor at a low unemployment rate. They got it. And that if they do that, they continue, can continue to spike on interest rates. It's sort of obvious because the Federal Reserve has said that. If the Federal Reserve can raise interest rates and not hurt the unemployment number, not hurt it, they will continue to spike interest rates. And that is what the bond traders say. I agree with them. In fact, that's what the Federal Reserve says. So I don't know how the equity traders can bet against that analysis. 
The Federal Reserve will continue to spike rates because they can do it and get away with it because labor is sustaining itself. Labor is improving, actually. And then if they continue to spike, this is what happens. Businesses cannot afford the interest rate. Businesses have debt. They cannot, cannot afford the debt. Their cost to operate will be too high. They will lay off people. They will lay off people. Then the labor starts to fall apart later in the cycle of the recession. Who agrees with them? I agree with them. Who also agrees with them? The oil traders. The oil traders have treated down the international price of Rancu to 94 and 95 in the last 24 hours from about 104 last week because they believe that a recession is upon us and in a recession you have prolonged, weaker demand for oil. We'll have more about this tonight on Indies LA, but this is why I care about you. Ultimately, I don't care if you're Camp 1, post in the live chat, or Camp 2, post in the live chat. What I want you to do is err on caution. And you err on caution by getting that stimulus check. You err on caution on getting that stimulus check. Because ultimately, you want to bulk up that savings account. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Get these incredible checks right now. Deserve them right now. Go into this video, become a member. And stay with me throughout the day as programming continues with noontime at 11 a.m. And then afternoon shows picking up thereafter. A brand new evening's LA in prime time at 5 o'clock. And LA Live airing throughout the day. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day. And the toast is toast and the butter is baked. Butter ain't up, but the bacon, um, uh, the bacon just purely digital today. <clears throat> it was missing once again. I will blame on the supply chain disruption. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Have a beautiful day and stay throughout the day as the programming continues on this channel. Jump in the live feed, jump onto the noontime show. And it stay with Ally for more.